Hello coders, you are watching Source Code Codes and today I'd like to share a very nice feature of Visual Studio Code, code snippets. Here's how you can make them yourself. <laughs> to get to the code snippets you have to go to File, Preferences and User Snippets. In here you can select a language of which you would like to edit the code snippets. I'm going to add one for JavaScript. I'm going to name it. I'm going to create a snippet for an immediately invoked function expression, which is very commonly used in JavaScript. I get IntelliSense of everything that's inside here. So every snippet has to have a body, a description and a prefix. I'm going to start with the prefix. The prefix is what you see in your editor. So I want to IIFE. That's a short name for immediately invoked function expression. It has to have a description. Let me give this an enter. Immediately invoked function expression and it has to have a body now this body it can be one string or it can be an array of strings which is very useful if you're editing a multi-line array uh, multi-line string so an immediately invoked function expression starts with this line as a function and it ends with this line and there's something in between now normally you would like to add a snippet let me show you what this does I type IIFE I can see my user snippet I hit tap and it's placed inside my code now I want the cursor to end inside the function because that's probably where I want to start typing after I added the snippet. I can use the uh, tabs in here, backslash t, and by um, adding a dollar and a sign and a, and a number, you can create tab stops. So you can use your tab to switch between the places where you want to add some some custom code. 0 is the uh, the end position so now when I hit tap I stop inside this function which is very nice now sometimes you would like to go a bit further and you would give a suggestion for some text you can do that as well so I want this to be tap stop 0 and I want this to hold console.log and then I want to have a tab stop over there. So now I have a dollar sign and a curly brace, a number, a colon, some text, the second tab stop, and I want a semicolon at the end. So now I can go back to my code. I can type IIFE. I end up here. Now when I start typing, I'm starting. Uh, I'm typing inside that function. Now, if I tap again, I select everything, so I can delete it very easily. Now, say I have some text in here already. Say something like console lock demo. And I want this to be surrounded with the snippet. I can do that as well. Instead of using this syntax, I can remove this and add a variable in between here. All these variables are st uh, starting with gm. This um, syntax comes from the, uh, the text made uh, snippets. That's what gm stands for. And then when I use selected text, now I can't start typing anymore because when I start typing, my selected text disappears. When you hit Control P and a, a less than sign, I can type commands and I can find insert snippet. 
Now when I hit that, I can insert a new snippet. I can start for my IFE again, hit enter, and now this works. And those are the basics of the snippets. And with that, I thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.